all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Being a prospect in the sweet science comes with a lot of pressure. All depending on how the fighter starts their career, fans and media members start to expect consistency. For the hard-hitting rising prospect in Edgar Berlanga, his consistency was going to be nearly impossible to keep up with. In his first 16 trips to the ring, he spent more time making the ring walks than he did fighting. 16 straight, first round knockouts. Berlanga continues, straight left hand to the body and drops Nunez again. That's it. Not only was he lighting the boxing world on fire, but he was also itching himself up the record books. But all that does is enhance the pressure and also sets him up for a dip in respect. As long as he continued finishing foes, no one would question his talent. But the second someone went to the final bell with him, those same talents would be put into question. The man responsible for being the first to last a full war with Berlanga is Damon Nicholson. He had been in the ring with some respectable names, he had been stopped twice before, and he was the hardest puncher Berlanga has ever fought. So the New York USA native played it safe. Just kidding. He scored four knockdowns and dominated Nicholson for eight straight rounds. But did anyone care about that? No. He got criticized for not finishing him. Then came another massive step up. On the Tyson Fury vs. Deontay Wilder 3 undercard for a WBO regional title, Berlanga was matched up against a man who had over double the number of pro fights under his belt and a world title challenger, the Argentinian Marcelo Caceres. Without a doubt, this was his toughest test on his biggest stage. Facing criticism from his last outing, trying to show out in Las Vegas, and still focused on the number one goal, fighting for a world title at some point. The pressure got to him, a little bit. He was still dominating the action, but he was getting hit with very good shots, more than he has ever been touched up. It was easy to tell he wanted to make a statement, and that is, for the most part, thanks to the media almost forcing that narrative. And then, he really got clipped. Right eye has really closed just in the last round. Oh, he got it close! On the way in! He's upset at himself. First time he's ever been knocked down. This might have been the best thing that could have happened to him. A shot that humbles a fighter and shows them what's important. If he had stuck to his game plan the entire fight, he wouldn't have got hit like that. And that needs to become the new Berlanga because he is being tested once again. On March 19th, he will headline for the first time in his career against a man that's been in the ring with Gennady Golovkin, representing the red and white from Canada, Steve Rolls. The fight is also taking place in Berlanga's hometown at the theater in Madison Square Garden. He needs to forget about what everyone says or thinks he should do. He goes by the chosen one for a reason, and it's time he chooses to just be a great fighter. The knockout will come if he lets himself set it up. He wants to represent his Puerto Rican heritage, show that he can be mentioned in the same breath as Miguel Cotto or Felix Trinidad. Well then, all he has to do is keep on winning. <laughs> 